great we get to be in the same room recording today. It's awesome. We love it. We do. So we have got someone special today, don't we? We do. We do. We've got someone who it's afternoon for them. And it's morning for us. It is. It is. But we're going all the way to... Back to back to Europe, and we're going to go to Sweden, and we're going to meet Carl Gustav Hamilton. Very good. Come on Come down, on, Carl. Carl. There's yeah, Carl. Well done. Good afternoon, Carl. Good afternoon. How are you? I'm fine. Uh, I can't see myself here, but but am I in picture? Perfectly. Okay. You're, yes, and we, we can, can see the wonderful. Okay, good. I don't have to worry about walls. that then. <laughs> no. Yes. We can hear you. We can see you. Everything's yeah. working just, oh, good. just great today. Good, good. Well, well, Carl, we would like to know a little bit more about you. Can you tell us where in Sweden you are? Uh, I'm in the south of Sweden, uh, fairly close to a city called Malmö. Okay. Uh, it's actually I'm actually at the place where I grew up, and oh, and I've I've moved here because it's closer to my grandkids, which oh, are in in Malmö. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But since moving here, I now got a an even younger grandchild who's turning one today, oh, and wonderful. up in Stockholm. He's up in Stockholm. So, but I'm so so I'm in the south. I'm from Sweden, but I've lived in Australia for twenty five years. Oh, whereabouts? Mainly in Perth. Oh, wonderful! That's Perth's a beautiful place. Love yeah, I, I li- we lived in Sydney for a couple of years as well. Yeah, and so and so. When did you come back to to Sweden? Well, now I've been back ten years, and wow. and I, I I reckon I'll I'll stay here. Yeah, here in the east of the Australian word reckon. I love it. Oh, I like. I really like. I I really treasure my time in Australia. Awesome. And how long have you been an orodologist? <sighs> Just over thirty years, actually. Wow! Awesome. It, it, it sounds a lot, but but we we uh, we came to Sweden in the early nineties uh, for a while, and I enrolled in a in a course in Denmark in Germany as a naturopath, and uh, so I learned iridology there. And ever since I learned iridology, I've been fascinated by it. Really, fabulous! And 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 I so uh, shortly after that I. Uh, I bought a second-hand iriscope, uh, and then I started working. But I've, I've been working a bit on and off. But I've been taking a lot of courses, and and uh, I suppose I lean quite heavily towards the European, the German approach, which is, uh, well, that's that's what I started learning. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, and what inspired you to become an orodologist? What inspired you to go to Denmark and learn it? Well... Ever since I was a kid, I've, I've always been fascinated, interested in the body. How, how does the body work and, and health? And, 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 uh, and then I, I'm trained as a scientist in chemistry, etc. And so I worked in laboratories and, and various things. And, but I've always had this yearning to understand more about the body. And, and when, I, when I took this course in, in, in Germany, uh, it wasn't because of iridology, but once I did iridology, um, I was just so fascinated by it. Awesome. And 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 and, all, and also moving back to Australia a few years after that, uh, I took a couple of courses with Leonard Melmauer. He came to Perth. Yeah, that was mainly sclerology. And then uh, in 2010, I met Tony Miller, and I took all of her courses. And and I was teaching at the uh, Endeavour College of Natural Therapies in Perth at the time, and uh, we tried to get Tony to do her courses there, but um, they discontinued iridology. I think they thought it wasn't scientific enough. Yeah, yeah. A lot of the Australian colleges have done that, but um, they're coming back to it. I think. Oh yeah. yeah. Okay. And I see you've and, got and, Tony's and, charts behind you, which which are bright. yes, 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 yes. I do. I do. Uh, and and I've I've got an iris scope as well that I've but I've got I've uh, got a camera too and once I bought a camera I've been able to document things in a different way. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's amazing. It's a it's a game changer for sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
So, uh, uh, it, Carl, it sounds like you're an iridologist. You're kind of an, a naturopathic uh, practitioner yeah. as well and a researcher. Yeah, well, I mean, I mean, as a scientist, I, mean, I work with I'm one of the few people who have actually seen the secret recipe for the KFC. <laughs> what do you call it? <laughs> because I work, I work for, a com for a company called Nestles. And, and every uh -huh. time, every every week they got this. Uh, high priority tests yes. we were going to do, and I didn't know what it was back then. But, You're right. But but I'm 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 really I'm really fascinated with iridology. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It is a right. beautiful science. It, it really yes, really is. Yes. Yes. So in your thirty years, and that's just remarkable. We love hearing of our of our seasoned iridologists. We love talking to our new iridologists. We love talking to our seasoned iridologists as well. But can you tell us uh, maybe one of your favorite signs that you see in the eye? Well, I've thought about that. I, I can't actually say I've got one particular iris sign. What, what is my favorite is when I'm looking at the live eye in the iris microscope, and and it's like, it's like a whole landscape that's opening up. Yeah, and 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 it's and it's so unique to every person and and it's it just strikes me with awe every time i'm doing it mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. unbelievable it's a beautiful story it it's a the and, eye, and, and, eye tells us a beautiful story and 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 also one of one of the teachers from germany i haven't studied with him but in in from the felke institute they're called mm -hmm. and and he wrote you know, as an ending in, in that book, don't learn to see only the signs, learn to see behind the signs. Absolutely. I love it. That's a and, and, that, and that, that that's that's it's it's such a such an awe inspiring thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. And and, and and all and all and also you know you you're invited to 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 really look into something of the essence of the person mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but but you you, you right. can't say too much you can't say too much that's right said, that's right i said much too much in the beginning yeah because we're, we're, i thought we're, yeah we're very yeah. limited as to what we can say yes. Yeah. yes but we're not limited as to what we can see no no right. that you that's know. a good way of putting it very good kathy mm -hmm. um carl let me just just I'm going to go past. I'm just going to throw a question out here just because it's something that you just brought up. But you said about the Australian uh, and Chris reiterated, too, that the Australian colleges don't see iridology as being scientific enough. And I just want this from your uh, perspective, because you are a scientist. But what can we do to make iridology more scientific where it is? accepted by the mainstream or or even by some allopathic sciences yeah that's a good question i, I wish i'd thought about that i wish i knew to ask that so you had preparation but it, but it is because if, if i just digress a short moment because hmm. being in sweden sweden uh sweden is a country where the majority of people want to be like everybody else People uh, really uh, are very compliant with the mainstream medical model. And there's a lot of restrictions in Sweden. Uh, so, and, and I don't know, I, I've even, I've, I've tried to talk with some people, but I actually think we're only going to reach those, I'm only going to reach those people who are open to look for something more. And who doesn't just want to be put in a box of specialization? And uh, I, I, I actually think it's the more people actually discover that there is so much more. There's a wholeness to everything. I, I think I think it's going to be very hard to actually um, talk with with p the medical profession. Uh, because it's such a different different way of looking at things. 
Absolutely. I don't, I don't, I don't know, but, but I mean, but I mean, if you look at like, like one of the the early pioneers, Joseph Deck from Germany. I mean, he he worked so much with hospitals, and there's so much research documenting things, more more than more than enough, really. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But but I yeah I don't know. Do you have a good good? Way you know, I, I understand where you're coming from completely. And I would love to know where that turning point was when, when Dr. Deck was working with hospitals. And where was that point where they said, someone said, no, we're not going that way anymore. He, he is, he, he's, he's mad. He's, uh, he's not talking right. It doesn't make sense. I would like yeah. to know where that split was. So that that could be yeah. somewhat repaired, but we still, I feel like we still need to be together, but separate, if that makes any sense. Yeah, um, yeah I, 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 I agree so. with you because the people that look for iridology, they're not looking for, they're looking outside of mainstream medicine. They're looking for something more. Where did this yes. come from? Yes. How can yes. I get rid of it? Yeah. Um, uh, rather than just load my body up with drugs and surgery and and the and the mainstream that medical offers. Uh, so so I agree with you uh, and totally I agree with you on everything you said. But I would love to know where that disconnect yeah. was. Mm -hmm. Way and, and way. When, let's when, rewind the clock. You know? When 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 I did my my training in Germany, and that was 1989 to 1991. And, and in the pharmacies in Germany then, you could go in and you could buy all the homeopathic remedies, all the uh, complex remedies and all, you know, everything. But you can't do that. And you can get all the things now, but they're not on display like they used to be. Mm -hmm. And and I, I think it's, I think actually it's, there's a very concerted effort from the pharmaceutical uh, side of things mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. try to minimize competition. Mm -hmm. it, it, it's it's so clear in in, in Sweden mm -hmm. uh, because if if you step out of line, uh, I know some medical doctors who work with alternative methods that they have lost their license. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, and and uh, but I I think I don't think anybody can take away what we have in iridology. No. I don't either. And I, I think it's more, you know, it's it's it, it's not it's not one thing that changes. You know, I think it's like a continuum. And the more people that talk about it, the more people that that talk to their doctors about it and things. That's how it's, that's how it does change. And the fact that in Europe you can actually go into a chemist and ask for homeopathics, I think, is fantastic. Yes, so yes. Right, because when I was working in Greece, I didn't. Um, I was living in Greece for a year, but I didn't have any of my remedies with me. I used to no. just send people to the chemist, and they, I was able to say. Go and get some oxvomical, or go and get some yeah. of this, and, yeah. and whatever yeah. potency I wanted, and they would be able to get it at the chemist, which I think is fantastic. Hmm. But but in Sweden, you can't get any homeopathic remedies at the chemist. You can't. That's a shame. Uh, Sweden, Sweden, Sweden is actually one of the very very few countries in the world where, as an alternative practitioner, you're not allowed to treat children under eight years of age. Really? Hmm. Yes. Uh, but but I mean you I, I feel and and for for me now see I've been the last couple of years I've been actually working almost full time as a teacher as a maths and science teacher because when I moved down here in this area I asked the local high school and and they've needed me ever since almost and I and it's sort of been for the money as well but uh, I feel I know I'm going to meet the people that i can help yeah they are seeking you yes yes yeah. perfect that, that's great i like that okay well it you know what we we always end our show with uh like a little game we play and you choose a number between <laughs> one and 36 well you know what today i don't have my board with me but I have a question. Okay. I have a question. Okay. It's a very simple, right. easy question. You'll be able to answer it. Um, we asked this question not too long ago, but it's perfect. I mean, it relates to what we're just sitting here talking about right now. 
But where do you see yourself making a difference in iridology in the next three to five years? Awesome question. Yep. Hmm. Well, I'm actually hoping very much that I'll be able to help some of the younger people, the youth. I've been working a lot with 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 adolescents in in school, and there's such a need there, and that that's what I'm what I'm hoping. Mm -hmm. Actually, that's beautiful because um, we 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 need to start them young. Yeah, absolutely. Yes, yes. That's that's great. I love that. Yeah. So, so Carl, are you able to see to look at children's eyes under eight, or you or, or not just no, children? no, no, no. I mean, I mean, I mean. Okay, my grandkids have done, but but yes. yeah, I, I mean, I I can as long as I'm not charging for it. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. and 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 of course, I mean, if if I'm doing with with a parent, of course I can do it, and I, uh, so 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 that's no problem. Right. Well, I'm just so fascinated just talking to you. I've got one more question, and it's, like, it's just off yeah, the cuff. Sure. It's just, uh, yeah, just keep going here. But uh, aside from homeopathics, are there any other things that you suggest? I know diet change is probably uh, first and foremost in, in one of your protocols, but do you work with herbs or do you work with flower essences or, or other things? No, I've never worked with, with herbs, even though I know there's a lot in that. I've, I've actually, it, it's homeopathy I, I'm, uh, and, and lifestyle changes and diet. I'm actually looking into something else, but it's outside this calling, uh, called redox signaling molecules, which is on the most basic level in how the body signals and controls things. And and from a science point of view, I'm I'm actually looked at that and I'm thinking, gee, this is amazing. How interesting! Mm -hmm. I would really like to know more about yeah, that. Me too. Yeah. Uh, and 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 then I mean I'm 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 calling I'm calling my my practice here in Sweden uh, because uh, if I say in Sweden, Kogi ho iridologi for health and insight, and awesome. and 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 I really feel if if I can help somebody, and I'm thinking even just a couple of people each year to get a new insight into. Who am I? What's going on in my in, in my life, in my body? Great. You know what, Carl? I think that every iridologist that watches our little show is totally aligned with you. Yeah. We totally understand what you're saying. We, we, we feel what you're saying because we experience that as well. I know that I do here in the States. It's very much controlled as to yeah, what we yeah, do and what we yeah. say. And uh, we feel that a lot of times we're watched, but I hear that yeah. in other countries as well. It's just not the U S I hear that no, from no. our Canadian iridology family and, and others yeah, in, in yeah, Europe. Yeah. So, you yeah, know, in Australia as well, for sure. We yeah. just have to do what we do and keep doing what we love and hope for a change, maybe a little, uh, a little, I think a little at a time. A little at a time, baby steps. Yeah. And I love that the fact that you are reaching out to the youth. You're you're kind of honing in on wanting to um, uh, work with the youth because we don't hear a lot of that. People just say, well, I see families or I see adults or I see, you know, blah, blah, blah. But you specifically named the youth that you feel should be uh, educated more and elevated. Uh, and learning more about their their health and their bodies and, and through their eyes. So I love that. I, yeah, me too. This has been and, a and, beautiful and, morning. And, and, and see, I'm, I've been working. I've been working a lot in in high schools here, mm -hmm. and and mm -hmm. so I've been a lot with. I'm, I'm getting older. I'm actually seventy two now, but but I get along wow. well with with the, with, the, with with the youth, and and what I'm feeling is that I'm not really there for for the teaching of the maths and the science i feel i mean that's what i'm doing but i'm there to meet some of them on a personal level mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. somebody who 
can listen to them mm -hmm. and and take that and and that's and 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 there's some wonderful youth you'd be a great teacher that's fantastic. oh yeah oh as far as i'm concerned you're a forever teenager <laughs> <laughs> well I just have to try to keep my body like that for another for another 10, 20 years. Well, I think you're doing great. And at 72 years young, you've got many more years. So, oh, wow. This has been great this morning. We have yeah. so enjoyed talking to you. Thank you so much, Carl. Yes. And thank you so much for having me on the show. Oh, thank you. Well, I'm, you I'm, keep I'm, I'm privileged, privileged. You, you keep doing what you're doing, and we're going to keep getting the word out. And uh, we're definitely going to call on you again and revisit you. And we'll have some more new questions for you, hopefully in, in a maybe six months to a year. And we'll, we'll check on you then. Can I just say one more thing? Absolutely. And, and I, I think, you know, it's I'm trying to follow my gut feelings mm -hmm. more and more and right. follow my heart. So, so, I mean, this, this is why I'm on the, on this interview here, because when, when I watched your uh, webinar, Chris, uh, I, I just felt, no, I just want to write to you and say something. Right. And, Thank you so and much. so I just followed my heart. Mm -hmm. yeah. And, and from that, I mean, who would imagine that I would have been on this show today? <laughs> <laughs> Um, you see how it works and yeah. all, there's a, always yeah. a path always yeah. a path yeah thank you Carl. thank you carl thank you very much both of ha you have a good rest of your day yep thank you